You know, it's an interesting story what got me into technology because I didn't want to do technology. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I started, you know, farting around with computers when I was in the Navy. Wow. Because you know, the last two years that I was in the Navy, I was stationed in San Diego and I wanted, you know, there was a, uh, uh, the manager there, it took him two days to do a report. He had to do every month. And I said, well, that's dumb, right. you know. And so I kept going over to the, you know, the data processing people, bugging them, going, you guys need to fix this. You need to make it better. I kept bugging them, bugging them, bugging them. Finally, one of them came over to my desk, threw this big ass manual down and said, <laughs> you do it. <laughs> and I read it and I did. And I got it down, his two day report down to 20 minutes. Awesome. Yeah. And so that was kind of the first time I've actually did anything and uh, realized that I might be good at it. Because that's, yeah. that's not what I did in the Navy. Right. And um, so after that, I realized I was good at, you know, that kind of technology stuff, but I didn't want to do it. You know, I, you know, I thought the, uh, you know, the prospect of sitting behind a, you know, monitor all day uh, sucks. That stereotyp stereotypical cubicle, yeah. you know, white walls all around you just sitting there. Yeah, and especially I back. Can't do that. Can't yeah, do that. especially back in the late '80s and stuff. Oh, I yeah. mean, I just said I don't want to do this, you know. And I'm, as you can see, I'm I'm a creative, you know. I'm, I do, you know. I'm a musician, you know. I'm an award-winning photographer. Everything I do has to be creative, or I don't do it. And so, I, I said uh, I don't want to do that. So I actually went to. <laughs> I don't think I've told anybody this. I went actually said no, I don't want to do that. I want to do TV stuff, you know, because. I was actually doing TV video editing in middle school because oh. I, I would go to my teachers and say, I don't want to write the report. I want to do a video for it. And they said, OK. And this was back in the tape days, you know. Oh, where you were splicing <laughs> and using the pencil. and yeah. In yeah, middle school, I was you. doing this. And so I said, I want to do that because I like that way better. It's way more creative. Yeah, the creativity side. Yeah. Is, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, I want to do the behind the camera stuff, of course. I don't want to be on camera. Mm -hmm. And um, so I actually went for a little while to uh, Columbia School of Broadcasting, which I don't think it exists anymore. I don't know if it does or not. Yeah. And so I went there for a while and because uh, I wanted to do that. And then I didn't like the school, so I got out of that. And then I started going to... Um, I still was rejecting programming, you know, uh, technology, and I said, so I went to one of the community colleges and I was taking video classes there. And, mm -hmm. and then I was working at a company that my ex-wife's father got me into, and somehow I gravitated into it, not by any purpose. <laughs> you know, right. it, I, I was mainly doing computer support, you know, for this company. You know, I just was fixing their computers and showing them how to use Word and mm -hmm. lugging stuff around and kept me skinnier back then, you know. And uh, um, but then all of a sudden, you know, I, I decided I needed to fix something. I, I think it was uh, I wanted to make the uh, you know, we had a, we had a telephone book and it was a big company, General Atomics. Oh, know? OK. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with them. So we had a big telephone book with all the extensions in it, which was basically but bad the day it came out, right? Because <laughs> so it's like reprint. People, well, they only released it a couple times a year, but it was bad the day it came out because people move around all the time. Every weekend right. they're moving people. Right. So I said, well, that's dumb. There was a serious disconnection between management and what was going on. In the yeah. I said, well, I need to fix this. You know, so I said, I want to write an electronic one. Right. You know, or a program, you know, yeah. and, and this is back in the DOS slash Windows days when people were still using DOS and some people were using Windows. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And uh, I said, I, want to, I need to fix that. So I went down and I found out I found whoever was, uh, you know, doing the mainframe stuff. I asked them how to connect to that that data source. And and I had a friend of mine there uh, mm -hmm. uh, give me a copy of VB2. That's what I started with. And uh, wow. I learned how to do it. And I had the electronic you know, phone book done very quickly. So that was your first actual project? That was my first project. actual project. And uh, and since we were kind of in the slash, you know, Windows DOS, you know, because I wrote, wrote in VB, which is Windows, right? Right, right. But then they came out with the DOS version of VB. I don't know if anybody remembers that. I actually still have the disks. I keep these things. Nice. And uh, they actually came out one version of a DOS version of VB. And so I basically that would probably fetch a pretty penny now. I know, <laughs> but I basically okay. wrote the exact same thing in that. Wow. Okay. And so no matter if you were using DOS or Windows, anybody in the company could now just 
do that Make instead of getting the book. Right. right. So that was that was like the first thing you know I wrote, and and it just kind of snowballed from there. Do you think seeing your seeing the result of that accomplishment just kind of perpetually you know made you continually look at technology and you know continue to be in the space because like you said you seem like a creative individual mm -hmm. so being able to create and then see the product of that creation uh, being implemented it, it's, it's rewarding it is rewarding and we can talk later about how you know I've now shifted to you know uh, seeing the product of my speaking Absolutely. is rewarding now yeah. and but back then you know I, I just needed to fix a problem because right. I didn't think it <laughs> you know, it was working right, right. you know, right. and no one else was doing it, so, so I did it. You did it. Yeah. So that's kind of how I got into it, and I, you know, I still didn't really want to do it, but mm -hmm. you know, I started learning VB more and more, and I started writing these little apps for people, and you know, uh, my the, my secretary and things like that, and all of a sudden, I figured, I I discovered that programming is creative. It is absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And I said, oh, this is cool. It is creative, and I'm making money. Nah, let's do that. Yeah, right. <laughs> so that